in this video i will show you another example of equivalent inductance here i will show you how to calculate the equivalent inductance of the given circuit find the equivalent inductance of the following circuit across a and b terminals see this is our a terminal and this is our b terminal and we have to calculate the equivalent inductance from this terminal to this terminal okay now look at this circuit here you will see we will have total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 inductors connected in this configuration and we have to calculate the equivalent inductance with respect to this terminal and this terminal see the derivation of equivalent inductance of any circuit is quite similar to the derivation of equivalent resistance of any circuit therefore i will use the same method i have shown you during dc circuit analysis so here i will use the point method our point will continue as long as we don't encounter or don't see any inductor see this as this is our a point this will be our a point this will also be our a point see this is our b point so our b point will continue up to this point okay see here let's see this is our c terminal and this is our d terminal now i will draw a simplified equivalent circuit of this structure so that we can easily calculate the equivalent inductance of the given circuit here at first i will start my simplification from this a point and i will go up to this b point okay so at first this is our a point so i will go from a point to c point let's say this is our that a point and this is our b point and let's say this is our c point and this is our d point okay see if i want to go from a point to c point at first i will encounter or see this 10 milli henry inductor so let's say this is our as this is our a point i am going from a terminal to c terminal so this will be a 10 milli henry inductor okay after that if i want to go from this a point to c point i will get this 5 milli henry inductor see i am going from a to c this will be our 5 milli henry inductor now see if i want to go from this a to c point i will see this 30 milli henry inductor so if i want to go from this a point to the c point i will get this 30 milli henry inductor okay so see i have covered all the inductors between point a to point c okay now see i will go from point a to point b and point C to point D. See, as this is our point A and this is our point B. See, if I want to go from point A to point B, I will encounter or I will get this 15 milli Henry inductor. So, between point A to B, I will get this 15 milli Henry inductor okay so i have covered this inductor see if i want to go from point c to point d i will see or i will get this 25 milli henry inductor see here i am going from point c to point d and i will get an inductor of 25 milli henry so i have covered this 25 milli henry inductor see i am left with only point b and point d okay see this is our point d if i want to go from point d to b at first i will encounter this 20 milli henry inductor in this way so see as this is our point d i will i am going from point d to point b i will get let's say this 20 milli henry inductor okay now see if i want to go from this d point to this b point i will see this 45 milli henry inductor so from d to b i will get 45 milli henry inductor we have only one inductor left see F if i want to go from d to b i will get this 40 milli henry inductor see i have covered all the inductors in the circuit so our given circuit and this simplified circuit will be the exact same circuit 
let's say I denote that with the first simplified circuit now see with respect to this A and C terminal the inductors 10 milli Henry, 5 milli Henry, and this 30 milli Henry will be connected in parallel. Therefore, I can replace them with a single inductor. Let's say I denote that inductor with L equivalent to 1. Now, look between the terminal D and B. There you will see the inductors 20 milli Henry, 45 milli Henry, and this 40 milli Henry are connected in parallel. So, I can replace them to a single inductor. Let's say denote that inductor with L equivalent to. So here I will get these three inductors are parallel. So I will calculate that equivalent inductance by using this formula. L equivalent 1 by L equivalent 1 will be equal to 1 by 10 milli Henry plus 1 by 5 milli Henry plus 1 by 30 milli Henry and you will see the equivalent inductance will be equal to 3 milli Henry now see I can reduce these three inductors to a single inductor and I can calculate that equivalent inductor one by using this formula 1 by L equivalent 2 will be equal to 1 by 20 milli Henry plus 1 by 45 milli Henry plus 1 by 40 milli Henry now see if you use this formula that L equivalent 2 will be equal to 1 by 1 by 20 milli Henry plus 1 by 45 milli Henry plus 1 by 40 milli Henry there you will see our e L equivalent 2 will be equal to 10.3 milli Henry Th here you will see the L equivalent 1 this 25 milli Henry and this L equivalent 2 will be in series so I can further simplify the three inductors with this formula L equivalent 4 will be the series of L equivalent 1 25 milli Henry and L equivalent 2 here L equivalent 1 is 3 milli Henry this is 25 milli Henry and this L equivalent 2 is equal to 10.3 milli Henry 28 this will be total 38.3 milli Henry now look between the terminal A and B there you will see between the terminal A and B we will have total two inductors one will be this 38.3 milli Henry another will be this 15 milli Henry this 15 milli Henry is this resistor okay and the 38.3 milli Henry is the equivalent resistance of this portion of the circuit so I will get our L equivalent L equivalent which will be the parallel parallel inductance of 15 milli Henry and 38.3 milli Henry here we will get 15 milli Henry into 38.3 milli Henry divided by 15 milli Henry plus 38.3 milli Henry which will be equal to 10.78 milli Henry okay that's it thank you